Dental Banyo. Okay? So, may rapid na siya sa upper session. Sa upper session road siya mismo, you walk sa way lang from the terminal ng Bindu Liner and also sa SM. Okay, so doon, we have everything for you. It's historical, 110 years old. We have received the historical marker from National Historical Commission. So, pupunta kayo doon, let us know. So, we can accommodate you, ha? Yeah. Um, so, for dormitals, pero hindi kami for every budget. Um, kung sino dito yung mga mahilig mag-backpacking, Wow. Yan ang aming, meron kami yung tagline, siguro makikita nyo sa may BJC, meron kami yung billboard, kuripot ka ba? <laughs> Kasi lahat ng kuripot, well it's a good thing, kuripot is not bad, it's actually a positive um, thing. Yes. No? Mga budget budget chapters, budget area, kakuripot, lahat sa dormitels. We have um, several in Metro Manila, pero meron din kami sa island destinations. Ang pagandahan kung nasaan ang aming Pico Hotel, nandun din si Dormitel. So lahat ng binanggit ko, si um, El Nido, Bambolakay, Bohol, and Siargao, they are all there. So if you're saving a little bit and you want to spend more sa, sa experiences, sa island hopping, doon tayo pupunta. Okay ba? Okay. Okay, okay. okay na so, okay. So a brief background ng Vilas. Okay? Ano okay. yeah. malaman nyo kung ano bang meron sa Vilas? So si Vilas kasi, this is um, once a family owned, um, parang yung rest house nila na isang pamilya. So itong kinatatayuan natin o kinaupuan natin ngayon, this is, our, this is their welcome lobby. Yan. Yeah, ito yung welcome lobby nila. And bawat isang kanya, at, uh, meron silang kanya-kanyang ano, um, isang lugar, isang room for them. So, umaakala si mo ganyan. So, nung pumunta na kami dito, nung na-acquire na namin siya eventually, we make sure na wala na kami tatanggalin o puputulin na puno. So, later you'll be discovering some surprises, lalo na lang na sa ibang CR. So, open nyo yung CR, check nyo kung anong meron. Sabaitaan nyo ko mamaya, ha? Okay, tapos dito, ang maganda dito, if you will look around later, um, makikita nyo si Mount Makulot. Okay, sino mahilig mga Ano na nga yun? Perfect car. So, Okay. Yan. So, ito si Mount Makulot. And this is actually the Taan Lake mismo. Okay. So, imagine how affected was mataas na kahoy during the Taal Volcano eruption. Pero dahil matatapang tayo, very resilient ang mga Pilipino. Very very good among batang genyo, bangon agad, no? Kaya we are happy that you are here, guys, kasi hindi tayo papa ano, no? We will not be defeated by this calamities, okay? Wow. So part ng ating goal sa Eco Hotels and also along with the DOT direction na buhayin ang turismo ng Pilipinas. And yes. we're reaching out to you. That's why you guys are here. Because we believe in you. We believe in the partnership with you. And we know that we can do a lot together. Yeah. Okay? Yes. So later on, um, kayo ni Ms. Um, Roby later. Hi, yes, si Ms. Roby. Tutor niya kayo sa mga rooms na available and also sa ating greenery. So we have on the left side an earth garden and an eco farm. Malit lang siya pero we're trying, we're starting it up. We have farmers kasi na who, who are helping us there. And there are Instagrammable areas there. Wow. So be surprised, pero be careful. Pero yung ano lang, two persons at a time kung may akit kayo ha, dahan-dahan. Okay, so I sent you guys, um, so additional lang, I sent you guys some hashtags that you can use. One feature of Bilas, of grid tayo. Okay? <laughs> so, kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayong wifi. May data, pero medyo minimal lang. So, save the photos, save the videos, upload na lang later. Okay? So, I sent you all the hashtags that you can use. Uh, you can tag us as well then. So, please like and follow Eco Hotels Philippines page for FB and IG. Okay? So, eto na. Okay? Um, Tinitulis ko na. Ang ating VP for Sales and Marketing, si Ms. Tony, to give you more surprises. Let's give her a round of applause. Um, sa mga kasabay ko kanina sa van, I was telling you na nga na we just recently had our um, mental mission. Um, kasi kasama kami sa naapektohan na talaga. So wow. imagine si Eco Hotel may tatong property siya na naapektohan ng eruption ng Taal. Si yung dalawa sa Tagaytay and then yung VP. 
dito nga. Hmm. Pag nagpunta kayo mamaya, dun sa parang uh, sa farm, yung pababa kasi nun, hmm. na talaga yung parang pumasok sa 7 kilometers ang kagaytay. Hmm. Oh. And, um, actually, yung pababa na yun, kay Iko pa rin siya. Hopefully, by next year, matapos namin yung project with the barangays. Kasi, uh, the the owner of Iko Hotel would really wanted to support the local ng Batanga. So, papaayos namin yun para meron kasing yad sa Iko. So, sana ah. makabalik tayo sa pagpunta dati. Hindi <laughs> tayo, pero kung now, hindi muna. Ah. Um, and we're, we're still excited na nakikita niyo yun kasi parang maraming gusto mag uh, small hike doon. And then, um, so bawat, bawat pupuntahan niyo na Iko Hotel, may kanya-kanyang story siya. So, wow. yung nakita niyo una, so mm. mamaya may dalawa pa tayo. Two more. Uh, mapapansin niyo na, na parang nagkukwento si Iko Hotel sa inyo. Mm. Kasi halos lahat ng empleyado ng Iko Hotel, artistic on its own way. Mm. So, kung artistic ka, you belong. Wow, yes. artistic. Okay. So, bibigyan namin kayo ng at least mga 40 minutes to roam around, go to the greenery, go to check the rooms, no, Miss Roby? And then after that, we'll have a brunch. It's yes. a budo pie. So, sana may excite kayo. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Okay, vlog na tayo. Wow.